the reason uh, why I uh, go for this man, Mr. Trump, okay. to lead our country. Okay, because you want a king. And by the way, if you're from another state or another country, hi or hola or what's, how do you say hello in, Philippi in Philippines? Hello. Yeah. Uh, well, um, <laughs> how do you say it in Philippines? Uh, how, how are you? Uh, you know, um, most of us speak English now. I really came from a poor family, to tell you the truth. And uh, You were one of seven kids. Uh, I, I, I am one of seven kids. Uh, only two are living right now. Oh my, you're one of and, them. Uh, yeah, I'm one of them, second to the youngest. And the, the, my, my younger sister lives in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Hi, hi. Want to say hi to your sister? Hi, Tita. Hi. Tita, uh, you know me. Yeah, How are you it? today? Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay. What's up, girl? Okay. okay. So, um, <laughs> You've got a lot of nieces and nephews. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we just had uh, recently the presidential election, right? Yes. In the U.S. Yes. yes. And, uh, and by we, the way, Donald, Donald Trump won. And then you asked, who is the vice president of the United States right now in 2017? It's Mike Pence. Okay, go ahead. It's still the hot topic right now mm -hmm. is Donald Trump. Yes. And that really tells you a lot about what motivated me to paint, yeah. even um, when he was campaigning. As a businessman, mm -hmm. I'm more qualified oh, to evaluate uh, the Mr. Trump. In addition to that, I had three other paintings about him at the time. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to give all of them to him as wow. a present. Mm. I painted my first painting in February of 2016. He didn't announce yet, or he was he was uh, skeptical or he was trying to figure out whether he's going to run, right? Uh, what I started painting is uh, my, uh, my, um, my admiration for the man. Wow. Because I know what he had accomplished, okay? Mm -hmm. I practically grew up in New York City. Right. And Mr. Trump, uh, I, I started adoring him for what he's been producing or building in the city. Right now he has, uh, right now I think he has about 16 buildings in New York, the, uh, the most popular of which is the Trump Tower. Yes, I, I just love that building. You, it's called TT uh, or Trump Tower. You live in New York and you're watching this. Hi, hey New York. Hey, yo, hey, hey New York. Uh, hey St. John's University. Uh, sorry I cannot uh, go to our um, yearly uh, reunion in, in, in New York City because I, I'm just so tied up in, in Las Vegas. Yes. He's Las literally, he was tied up just five minutes ago. He was like literally like tied up, but that was only by, <laughs> that was by choice. Uh, yes. No, no, no. I, I'm very busy trying to uh, paint. Uh, paint also. I just painted Did one, uh, completed painting one this morning. I don't want to mention okay. it because it's, uh, it's kind of uh, not right. Brands? Oh, so you're going to do some finishing touches on it? Yes, that's okay. right. And then you're going to digitize it and make a print of it? Correct. Okay. I have a buddy here who uh, has an MBA. We got into uh, an argument what over you, what, what, what is happening today and yesterday, and that is the firing of the FBI director, James, James Comey, right? Which Trump says has nothing to do with Russia. Correct. I'm going to paint something about it okay. over an argument that I had with um, my, my buddy. Cool. Who's, who is pro Clinton, right? Yeah. Uh, everybody's different in politics. So, I like Alexander's. The other channels, right, that are mostly pro Clinton or Democrat, uh, controlled by what we call the big six. But, um, but I, really, I really don't want to talk politics on, on this interview. But, we, but um, suffice it to say that you are a Trump supporter, mm -hmm. and you also think that. He's innocent of all these allegations about his involvement with Russia. Uh, yes, uh, I, I do not know really what is the truth, yes. but uh, sooner or later we will get to it. And uh, I really don't know. Um, yes. I'm only supporting Mr. Trump because I'm a little bit biased. Real quickly, and then we're going to get off politics. Do you think they should do an investigation or end, an, end the investigation into involvement, Trump's involvement with Russia? If the result would merit so that it would uh, result in an impeachment of the impeachment of the president, you know, we have to go for it. 
but right now, Mr. Trump, let us give him a chance to do what he is supposed to do. Oh, God, oh gosh, this is And uh, it's only been, uh, you know, 120 days maybe, but give, give, him, give him a chance, maybe yeah. one and a half years or two years. It'll be really, it'll be really something. You won't even recognize the country. Yeah, let, let's be uh, Americans and be patriotic. And uh, we all right? live in this country. And we just have to follow what the election, uh, you know, uh, did to him. Yes. And uh, he is learning a lot from the job. Remember that, right? But applying what he learned in business. Yes. To tell you the truth, is very, very different than most of the politicians. Most of the politicians are not builders, are not doers. Many of them are very good at making law, which is fine. He's also a very good tweeter. He's yeah, that, that, that's him. You know, he wants to connect yeah, the people, him. the everybody. You, you can tell what Trump is like from his tweets, which you can't say about most other presidents or CEOs yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, uh, because of yeah. the uh, Twitter and the technology, you know, it gives him that uh, uh, I, power and tool to talk to almost anybody. I wish Tillerson would tweet as openly and as candidly as Trump does. Don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, I, I love that. Please, I would, love for, I would love for all people in politics to be as open, as un, unintentionally transparent as Trump is. Yes, yes okay. Yes, we agree on that. Yes, 